Hello and welcome to World of Tanks with me, CricketBez. Um, viewer spotlight today, uh, Joachim Alpine, who's in Cert Clan. Uh, two replays from him, both in this tank, the OPZ 120. Uh, first game is on the Abbey. Um, tier 10 battle, not too many tier 10s, only 5 and 6, because of reasons. 6 on his team, fortunately. Um, and in this game, it's well, he's driving a stock WZ120 pretty much. Not really the stock gun, it's the second 100 mil upgrade, 189 pen 250 alpha. I think something like 0.38 accuracy or something, and two and a half second name time. So it's it's not a brilliant gun. I mean, on the WZ132, the tier 8 scout it is fantastic. Uh, but a tier higher, 190 pen at tier 9 is not that good. So it's going to be heading over here to the west flank. I've probably got middle in this thing, being a fast medium. Um, as you can see on the map, that's probably why he chose uh, this decision. It doesn't carry uh, very many rounds, uh, this gun, or this turret, or the tank rather. Let's do the maps quickly. Only 34 shells, that's not a lot. Especially with a gun that reloads about 7 seconds. 250 Alpha, nice high roll to start with, 275. And then there's an enemy that we did on 50. By the looks of things with the top gun. But with that shot on the 50B, it doesn't look like it. I think he might be using a stock country now, which I do believe that has a muzzle brake. But your is just going to be setting up here for a few snipes on the mill, getting a high shot on the, uh, on the Lorraine. T71 pokes out, tries to uh, take a shot at him, but bounces. Gets a shot on the T71, and the ball finishes with him. And the enemy WZ120 finishes off the Bulldog for 404, which I'm confused now. I thought earlier he had the, um, oh wait there's two, <laughs> silly me. <laughs> yeah, good job man. Um, T54, from this range and with this pen it is very unlikely uh, that he will actually pen, I don't think he can pen him uh, front on from 100 meters, let alone uh, angle at 45 degrees at 300. Uh, but it doesn't carry very many gold shells. Oh, that, that was a nice shot. Straight into the side. Just over the TC. That was a brilliant shot. Bit of RNG there, but that was, that was fantastic. Artillery just uh, finished off the Allied 50Bs, probably just heard. Um, looking for a shot on this T54. Tries to take it, try and probably track him so maybe the artillery can finish him off. Um, you might notice that we have a Waffley 100 camping at the base for some reason. Tries to retreat now. C4. He gets lucky here. He gets massively lucky. Look at that. Straight in the side. <laughs> By a T1. I don't even know where that shot went. Uh, but that was very lucky to not take 750 damage uh, in the face. And that is actually going to be what keeps him alive. That shot bouncing. That is what is going to keep him alive for the rest of this game. That tiny bit of luck, well, not even tiny, it's huge, massive uh, bit of luck there. The flanks all the way around using them, very good maneuverability and speed. All the W's in on the Tries to go for a shot on the T4 tip on the E4, but no, he puts it on the back chat. Wise decision. Repairs his tracks, back chats, pull him back, so that's fairly obvious. He's reloading, so you can just go and go and ham here. Auto aims on the bat chat. Bat chat seems to be using the stop gun, only doing 300 damage there. Either that, or he got a massive blow roll there with the top gun. But yeah, he's definitely definitely reloading now. Can he get another shot off before he backs off? Not quite. That seven second reload on this. Oh, Yagtalia. Nice fan out of the Yagtalia. Lovely jubbly. Get a bit more damage on there. Starting to run low on ammunition. Only 13 AP shells left, but this thing with the rate of fire on the low uh, ammunition count, then should think it will be quite easy to run out of ammunition in this tank. Gets another shot. Not quite. Another shot on the Yagtalia. BW100 gets shot off. Oh, and he's just fine. Big mistake, GW. 
So he gets behind him, puts another shot on. I would probably switch to HG there to try and finish him in one shot. Uh, and then a batch up comes. And this is very good play. Switches to the batch up. The batch up does it. Stop him with quite low damage that he's doing. And can he kill the batch up? No, low roll. It's not to go roll. And will he stay alive? Yes, just about. And he kills the batch up. So yeah, a bit of luck, but a very good decision making there to go for the Batcha and not for the GW. And that saved his life, I guess, that play. I don't guess, I know that saved his life. That was a very good play there. And that gave him two quick kills. Stops there, goes for a shot from the rain, doesn't fully aim, misses. Chinese guns aren't very accurate usually. Reloads, goes for a gunshot from the rain. Goes perfectly straight. And Simi picks up his third kill. Uh, and that's pretty much game over for now. 13 8, the remaining two tanks are in the middle. And very low health, the Lorraine's on 264. Uh, and as you can see from the team health uh, hit points at the top of the screen, they only have 529 altogether. So that WZ120 uh, will, uh, won't be on a lot of health either. So at this moment in time, I'd probably start capping, trying to lure them out. Um, but the FE4202, well, he's just going to go straight up there, go with ham. Maybe the mouse trying to back him up, but it is a mouse, it only goes 20 kph. We often decide not to cap as of yet. And there you go, good yucking. Trying to see if that Lorraine pokes out. But not yet. Will the Prius get the kill? If you thought 202 is a Prius, in case you didn't get that. Fastest way to go to 40 kph. WZ120 kills the FP4202. So, yes, he does have the top gun there. Top gun on the WZ120 is the same gun, uh, pretty much on the IS8 uh, and the 113, I believe, the Chinese kit. Not sure it's the exact same gun, but it's more or less the same thing. So, who's going to get the last kill? Going to be the mouse? Yep, it is indeed. So, 15 10, and that was. A pretty good game, I think you'll agree. So let's see the results. So here are the results. Um, an ace tanker, not really surprising. Stock WZ120 in a tier 10 game. Uh, fire for effect, fairly obvious. Can't remember what the um, other medal is. But uh, Confederate as well. Almost 3,700 damage with 1,300 uh, uh, XP. Puts him quite easily top of the teams. Next on damage with the mouse. Almost just behind, but on terms of XP, way ahead. Uh, and he even got 2,900 spots in damage as well, and 45 base cap points. So that gave him uh, almost 4,000 XP doubled, uh, 39,000 credit profit. So let's go on to the next game. And here is the second game. If you thought that last game was good, you ain't seen nothing yet. This game is. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, Yokum again, as I said earlier. Uh, this time he's to up with British Secret Service, who's in a left prototype. This time Yokum in a fully upgraded WZ120. And this, I, I love this tank. Have I said that yet? I think this tank is probably one of the best tier 9 mediums along with the Century Mark 7 and possibly the T54, but well, T54 we have to. Fire. Fair bit of gold ammo, uh, uh, along with the E50, which I do like a lot. So we're going to be heading on over to the east side of the map, yeah, the train tracks of the River Volga, on up to Stalingrad, previously known as Leningrad, then it changed to Stalingrad, and now it's known as Volgograd. So yeah. I think Lenin and Stalin, you can get quite easy in Volga because we're in really Volga. Oh, Russia, will you change the name of the town to whatever we want? Screw you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. But, um, uh, nothing spotted on this flank so far, apart from that T37. Who's just going ham down that um, down the train track between the river? Um, Spot, Yochum spots out on IS-6, I think fairly decent view range uh, on the WZ-120, but I don't think 
the Ockham's using optics, I think it's using ventilation, judging by uh, only 390 meter view range. And ventilation is not bad, uh, and this gun doesn't have the best rate of fire or aim time or accuracy. I don't suppose ventilation would be a bad option, but I would probably go coated optics. If this thing's got good view range, I can't remember what the view range is with this top turret. And a very long aim time, I think 3.4 seconds just the standard 122mm gun. Let's look at the stats of the gun actually. 249 pen, 440 average damage, so similar to the uh, IS-8 gun, except the IS-8 gun has 258 pen. So a little bit less pen, but it's a medium, it's got more mobility and flank. Gets a nice shot into that IS-3, a little bit of a snapshot, but sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It swings and roundabouts. For any of you non-English people, they're swings and roundabouts. It's a saying we have, meaning everything you need. Gets a nice shot on the T-34, uh, picks up his first kill. A little bit of a kill secure, but hey, kill's a kill. If you haven't noticed already, the enemy team does have a fail platoon of a T-37 and a T-18. Because, you know, reasons. Why not? So I'm going down uh, to the river now, trying to spot out this IS-6. Well, British is trying to fight in the middle. 59-16, take, uh, just taking out the Bulldog. So the base is quite vulnerable, but there is still a T-71. Hopefully trying to defend the base before the 59-16 gets in there and harasses everyone. And all of a sudden, the team started losing. It's 5-8. To speed things up until we get back into some action. Spots out T18. A little bit of a snapshot here, he probably could have afforded to aim that bit here, but it worked anyways. 610 now. The team's not doing brilliantly, and the hit point balls aren't great either. 5,000 to 7,500. 7,11 now. Uh, but the platoon on two kills each, four kills for the platoon. Uh, and the base, there you go, 5916 has started capping. And British now heading back to defend the base with your company. Spots out the IS-6, IS-6 not seem to be paying any attention to your company whatsoever. But it seems to be firing HE as well, doing 40 damage to that vehicle. Nice high roll there, 466. So I'm now trying to focus on the base, hopefully uh, British Secret Service will uh, kill that IS-6. Spots out a T-34 and I'm on 1100 health. Stops, aims, and I've never seen that happen before. Um, no damage, critical. Takes out his engine. I've never seen that happen. You no, know, um, that was possible really, to just take out an engine. So he often kills the 5916. Uh, stops, which does allow the T-34 to get a shot off, maybe if he kept going. Uh, he might not, T-34 might not have been able to get that shot off. But he gets one back in the T-34, T-34 shoots him, low roll, because T-34 will wake him roll, and kills the T-34. That's three kills to British, four kills to the he spots up KB-4, uh, and then there's that ISU. Don't poke out, your don't poke out. Be careful, there's an ISU there. Oh, where'd he go? British trying to come round, trying to plank the ISU. Fires on the move, misses. Nothing artillery. I just trying to get a shot at the British there. So you're often trying to flank round this ISU. Trying to let British be the bait. British misses again, but backs off. Can he get round the ISU? Low roll, massive low roll, 356. And it's got round the ISU, that's brilliant. Now these two can just work at this ISU over. With 8 kills for the platoon, that's your friend's 5th kill. Uh, and now it's just these two, just the platoon against 4. 2v2. Can he kill this KB4? No, KB4. T34 then. KB4 misses. The open hits, so that's his top gun. 9 kills for the platoon. It's 2v3 now. And as you can see by the health pool, it's 1100 to 1500, so they, they do have 
had a decent chance of winning this. There's a Tiger 2, he's on about 700 health. Jochen wise to not stop and take the shot there, he could have risked getting shot by the Tiger 2 as well. Jochen probably trying to flank round to get behind this Tiger 2. And the KV4 is just saying he thinks the T30 is on full health, so it hangs very bad news. But of course, the T30 isn't on full health because the T30 has 1500 health or something like that, and the enemy team doesn't even have 1500 health. And bad news Tiger 2 has just killed British, so no brothers in arms, but they are still up for a crucial contribution if Jochen can win this. So I've been pushing onto the enemy base, probably trying to find the enemy GW Panther, try and get artillery out of play. They can't find it, and the T30 has just been spotted now, right next to the Tiger 2. Didn't get how much health he was on, but I think that was the least of Jochen's worries at, uh, at this moment. Just trying to find the artillery. The Tiger 2 knows he's heading this way, so I expect he'll be trying to chase him down. So it's Jochum versus the world. I just count the world as being three tanks. Base is now being kept, I expect that's the T30 or the Tiger 2, probably trying to chase him down. I'll use the framework up, I don't know what's going on there. But there's the Tiger 2, still on 700 health, unfortunately the British couldn't get that shot off. And Decent trade, I suppose. Jochen does 100 in the damage, but I think that shot from the Tiger 2 took out Jochen's ammo rack. Because if you can see the reload bar on the left side of the reticle, I think that's loading up quite a lot slower. So I think he's got now around about a 20 second reload. And puts him straight through the lower plate of the Tiger 2 to pick up a 7th kill, and now he has to get back to defend the base. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, than that is an aberrant go on, I don't know why it's not showing it on the damage panel uh, but nevertheless, cap now almost at 70% but luckily the WZ120 is quite fast and mobile for a medium tank so he should be able to get back but it's going to be tight all he needs to do is get a critical hit on the T-50, whether that be tracks, gun, whatever he doesn't have to do damage, all he needs to do is track him and he's probably a one shot for the T30. He stops aims and plot twist. T30 is using the 120 mm same gun on the C34 and R2 just misses your one not just in the twenty one. So you can try and flank round, probably trying to go off the T30's uh, radar before he flanks round. Which he does. So 10 kills, if he gets these two, is a crucial contribution, believe it or not. Thanks for the round, he spots the T30, which probably means he's spotted as well. I don't think he's got 6 cents on this tank yet, which is why that didn't go off there. Tries to get hold down behind the T34, RT just misses him. That was very lucky, doing 69 damage. And now he's. Well, even more of a one shot for the T30 now. T30 could probably load a uh, high explosive and still kill him. You can probably try and line up a shot on the T30's cupola. But it just decides now, nah, screw it. Mission ham. Engage. We're on the house using every bit of concealment that he can. Doing this dead cave tour. And rip T30. <laughs> What, that was fabulous, joking there, that was really fair. And that high roll on the T-50 brings up his 8th kill, is rapidly vaulted, and 11 kills for the platoon. That was fantastic joking there, uh, by Jochen. And now all that's left is artillery, 1v1. IRL, not really. Yeah, Jochen versus artillery. If he gets this kill, it would be 9 kills and the crucial contribution. Ah yes, in chat, so he never saw such a good player. Well, I don't think he's been playing for long, I'll just say that. <laughs> um, oh yeah, ask him where he's from, Jochen pauses to um, answer. Oh, he's to a house while he's doing it. Typical Dutch driver. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> 
So it carries on to find the artillery. Not loading HE, somewhat wise. This gun's got 40, uh, 440 average damage. If he loads it, uh, HE, he could just blow his traps off and do about 200 damage. But even with the damaged ammo rack, he does have the reload on the GW Panther, which is nice. Spots out the GW, he's behind him, quickly gets into cover behind the rubble. And I think the GW is looking the other way by the looks of things. But I'm not sure about that, and neither is Joachim. He looks for a shot, and note he's not pointing the other way. Knocks down a couple of trees. Typical touch driver. <laughs> Goes off the radar, flanks round the GW, trying to hope that he's still pointing. Uh, in the direction where he just last spotted. KB4 saying go cap, he's been under pressure from uh, KB4 and the IS to cap almost all the game. But there's only two and a half minutes left now. Um, but sh this game is either going to end in a win or a loss. Spots the GW Panther, he's pointing this way, oh and he misses! And Joachim gets the kill to win the game. Nine kills to him. Three for British. Crucial contribution. And what a finish. So, not surprisingly, another ace tanker. Fire for effect. Bruiser, I think one of those medals is. I can't remember the other two. Uh, Rally Walters, obviously. Defender medal. High caliber top gun. And of course, crucial contribution. And 1,328 base experience. Who is more than enough to get him of the team list along with almost 5,000 damage and uh, 9 kills in the second uh, on experience and damage that uh, was Bristol Secret Service with 925 base experience for it were almost 3.4 thousand damage so we didn't too, uh, play too bad again either not much spotting damage in there only 190 uh, but again almost 4,000 base XP doubled uh, for the first one day with premium account and almost 30,000 credit profit so not bad game and all a hundred base defense points so if you want your replays to be shown on my channel the emails for that will be popping up on the screen now or you can alternatively look in the description box down below or the about page of my channel i hope you enjoyed this video and as always i'll see you on the next one